La Clinica de Familia was incorporated in 1978. We started out as a clinic um, that would serve migrants um, because there were very few physicians in the community at that time and it was very hard for migrants to access them. And so La Clinica set up uh, a voucher system where a migrant would come to a little office and they would get a voucher and with that voucher then um, the staff at La Clinica, and there was only one staff, um, would help the uh, migrant worker make an appointment and they would use that voucher to help pay uh, with providers in the community that would agree to help them. And I mean it w didn't pay the full cost of the visit and of course it didn't take the place of an insurance payment but it was enough that some of the providers and physicians if you will in the community would go ahead and accept them and see them. And from there it grew um, to now we have eight um, medical and six dental facilities. We have five uh, school-based clinics and then now with the recent acquisition of the behavioral health services we have 11 sites for behavioral health. Um, we have two uh, group and shelter homes for adolescents. We have um, an ACT program, a PSR program, adult outpatient in uh, Las Cruces, and a crisis home for um, seriously mentally ill who have either just been released from a correctional facility or from the hospital or, or are homeless. Um, and then in Anthony, we have three different programs uh, there as well, outpatient, all of them PSR and uh, a comprehensive support services in Anthony. And also in um, November, First Step came over with us as well and so now we provide uh, OBGYN and uh, pediatric services. We hadn't before not had pediatricians within our system. Our physicians provide diagnostic and treatment. So when you come into the clinic, it's like any private private physician's office. You would come and see a medical provider, either a certified nurse practitioner, an advanced practitioner, or a physician, and they would see you and diagnose you with a cold or you know whatever maybe chronic disease you may, ha may have, and then treat you and prescribe medications. So we also have a medication program, a 340B uh, program that helps assist us in helping um, the underinsured and uninsured with their, their pharmacy and their medications. We have limited lab uh, services at the, the clinics. Um, we also have health education, and, and, and we do that from birth or prenatal all the way un, until the end of life services. So we treat babies, um, then toddlers, children, sports physicals, all of those things, um, adolescents, and then um, so it's childbearing women, um, and then all the way into the geriatrics. And then dental services as well. We provide preventative and uh, some restorative uh, services at, uh, at our dental sites. This is the perfect job. It is really stressful, <laughs> but um, this gives me, fulfills my life mission in helping people who need, who need help. The poorest of poor, people who are disenfranchised and can't, have, have been overlooked in, in places. And so carrying out our mission is, and helping the patients, that's first and foremost. Second is working with the people that I work with. Fantastic staff. Fantastic doctors, fantastic front office nurses, dentists, hygienists, uh, the therapists that we just took on. It is just, um, they're so dedicated to the people that we serve. It's a privilege to be able to represent them.